My name is Anna Tocheva. Um, originally, um, I'm Bulgarian, uh, but uh, for many years now I have uh, traveled the world uh, via immunology. And uh, at the moment I'm based at uh, New York. Uh, I actually work at New York University uh, as a postdoctoral research fellow. I'm uh, very lucky to be part of the, of the lab of Dr. Adam Moore. Um, uh, personally, I, I, love, uh, I love immunology, I love every aspect of it, but, uh, uh, but my focus are T-cells. And uh, uh, T-cells are a very critical part of our, of our uh, immune system. And uh, without them, we cannot really uh, protect ourselves from uh, bacterial infections, from environmental challenges, and, and against uh, autoimmunity. Uh, how I fell in love with immunology, it, is, um, it was during my undergraduate degree. Uh, through meeting some really fascinating, uh, fascinating scientists and realizing that actually uh, the immune system plays a key role uh, into interacting with our nerve system and our endocrine system and, and without a very healthy immune system actually we cannot, uh, we cannot survive and uh, every single of its intricacies uh, is really fascinating to me. First time I realized that um, I really wanted to stay in this field. Uh, I will tell you the I will tell you a story. I was uh, doing an internship at the Uniformed Services University, and um, there I was working on parasites called uh, schistosomes. I was only an undergraduate student. I was just being introduced to immunology, um, and my supervisor there, Professor Stephen Davis, he uh, uh, has previously dis discovered that actually, and he was telling me the story, that actually those uh, those uh, uh, schistosomes, those parasites, cannot develop in people that do not have CD4 positive T cells. They were receiving signals from these T cells for their development, and then I thought, oh my God, how has this? How have this? Parasites, how have these microbes evolved to make use of our immune system? This is fascinating. Why does this happen? And then it kind of unlocked my interest into, into T cell biology. Uh, I went on and did a, a, a PhD into uh, microbiology and then uh, just focused primarily now on, uh, on T cells, how they function, how they interact uh, with uh, the environment, within ourselves, of course, how they, how they uh, contribute to, to protecting us. So that was my first aha moment as an, as an undergraduate very early. My presentation at the AI went very well uh, for, uh, for two reasons. First of all, the, the mediators there were very welcoming. Um, uh, and then the public was fantastic. Uh, at the end of my presentation, I really appreciated the fact that I got really good, very constructive questions. Uh, and I always appreciate when the criticism is constructive and I can actually build upon it. Um, at the end of the day, those were the people that eventually will be, will be uh, uh, judging and, and, and reviewing my research. So it was really, really great to get their, uh, their feedback. Um, that is one of the reasons why I really enjoyed coming to the AI. The other reason is that uh, it is a very big conference and with that of course comes very um, significant scientists, very significant immunologists that uh, I, I, you know, I don't have the chance to just meet every day. So having a chance of meeting a few of them is, uh, is really wonderful and discussing science uh, with them is really great. I really like that they are all very approachable. Uh, this is very important, especially for a scientist at my level. I'm a, 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 a postdoctoral researcher and um, of course I'm looking to, to, to broaden my horizons um, into the field of T-cell immunology and hopefully you know, one day move into a faculty position. So speaking to those people and where the immunology field is moving on is really important at this stage. Who is the most influential person for me? I have to say I have been very lucky because from the moment that I started uh, my undergraduate degree and started doing uh, summer internships, uh, I have just met fantastic scientists. Probably the, the person that inspired me the most was the first scientist I worked for, Professor Stephen Davis. He's, as I said, in Uniform Service University. Then I was very lucky to, uh, to, to work with um, uh, uh, Dr. Myron Christodoulidis in uh, Southampton and Professor Stephen Godola, which uh, further strengthened my, my interest in, uh, in uh, T-cells and now as part of Dr. Adam Moore's lab, I'm, I, feel, uh, uh, I feel really uh, well appreciated and, and challenged immunology-wise uh, every single day. When it comes to the field of immunology, the most uh, important people and the most fascinating people that inspire me and that I just had the pleasure of, of actually hearing speak, uh, I really admire um, the work of, of uh, Federico Solusto and Antonio Lanzavecchia. I'm, I have to say I'm, I'm, a, I'm a great fan uh, uh, of their work, uh, mainly because my, my interest is the T-cell field and they are um, leaders in, in that field until today.